Hello again. Cheat code 5.4D. We're gonna make two videos out of this. This is this is again uh, continuing with like finding patterns. Recognize the difference between additive and mul uh, multiplicative numerical patterns given in a table or a graph. So we have to figure out is the pattern adding or is the pattern multiplying? And look, graph. Okay, so you're gonna have to be able to graph a line using these tables and these coordinates. So, again, we've, we've looked at this in the last video in, in 5.4c. Uh, the x value is the value across the bottom and the y value is the value across the vertical line. So look, this is this point right here, 12, 5. It has a vertical value of, y, of 5. That's our y. Here's our x. You always do the x first. So if we're graphing, we'll go 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Here it is. See, across the bottom, 12, and then up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So a numerical pattern, let's talk about that. A numerical pattern, a list of numbers that follows a certain sequence or pattern. An additive pattern is where you add the same number each time. And then a multiplicative pattern is a pattern where the same number is multiplied by an input value. So y equals a x versus x plus a. Here's, here's the example. Clean as day. So we're adding, it's an additive problem and a multiplicative problem. 5 plus 3, 7 plus 3, 2 plus 3. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 7 plus 3 is 10, 2 plus 3 is 5. We got that. Now, notice this isn't a pattern, 5, 7, 2, 9, 10, 1. The pattern isn't up and down. The pattern is across from X to Y, okay? The pattern is from your X value to your Y value. That's the pattern. 5 times 3 is 15 x to y, so it's times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. 2 times 3 is 6. x to y. x times 3 is y. x plus 3 is y. All right. So, more vocab. We'll get on with it. Two lists of numbers are shown below. Great. Which statement about these lists of numbers is true? Each number in list P is 6.1 less than the number below it in list Q. Well, let's see. List in P is less than Q. So let's look, 22.0 minus 6.1. One, uh, nine, Hmm, this is, oh, uh, yeah, 9, 1, 15.9. That's wrong. 22 minus 6.1 is 15.9, not 16.1. So A is wrong. Each number in list P, so here's list P, is 5.9 more than the number in list Q. Whoa. Is P bigger than Q? P is, so just for your notes, look, P is less than Q. And this is saying P is greater than Q. That's wrong. B is wrong. See? This is smaller, 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 smaller than list Q. Okay, each number in list P is 5.9 less than, so P is less than Q. That we're good so far, let's do the math. Um, let's say 22.0 minus 5.9 is one, okay? And then bar from the two. 11 minus five is six, 16.1, that's correct. Okay, well, we only did one, so let's do number 23.2 minus 5.9. Uh, bar from the three, that's two. 12 minus nine is three, okay. Bar from the two, 12 minus five is seven, 17.3. That's, 
Okay, so let's just say tentatively that's correct. And then D. Each number in the list is in list P is 6.1 more than. No. P is less than Q. P is not more than list Q. So it is indeed C is our answer. All right. Last last question on this video. Last question on this video. Rochelle used a number machine. When she put a number into the machine, a different number came out according to a rule. So what's the rule? We have to figure that out. Some examples are shown below. Hmm. Looking at this, do we think, remember, the pattern is X to Y. X to, we're not trying to find patterns up and down. We're trying to find a pattern from X to Y. Okay? So I, I'm going to guess it's an additive problem. 52.3 plus whatever, that's, the, that's, that's what we're going to add. We're not going to multiply to get 60. So let's see what we add. 60 minus 52.3. So we'll add a decimal. And we'll say 5. Okay. So we're going to 5 minus 5 is 0. Go to the 10. We'll borrow from the 10. That's a 9. To get all the way, 10 minus 3 is 7. Drop our decimal. 9 minus 2 is 7. 7.7. 7. Look. 7.7. 7.7. It's probably it. 8.3 less than the number of the number she put into the machine. Which is bigger? Y is bigger than, Y is greater than X. So it's not less than. 8.3 more than the number. Okay, but it's not 8.3 because 7.7 .7 was my answer for this right here. Okay, so it's not 8G. So now the question is more, less than or more than? 7.7 .7 more than the number she put into the machine. The number that came out, so this is our out, right? Y is out. 7.7 .7 more than, yes, that's our answer, J. There you go. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.